Hi, welcome to the world of Nadi Astrology. My name is Dr. Rain Srinivasan Shastri. Till in my last video, we had completed about the fifth house, that is regarding the birth of children, the way a childlessness can be seen, the way the problems for the childlessness will be indicated all these things through the fifth house and also I had to take Libra into consideration because these are the two major factors which affects the child birth okay now we are going to come into the sixth house sixth house from Jupiter I am using the same chart the chart is not the important thing. Here the study is important. What exactly I point, point out at the sixth house, that is important. Sixth house. Generally sixth house is for Repustanam, the diseases. How a person gets into diseases or what type of a disease will be coming to a person? Okay. Sicknesses are of different types. Some they will come for a certain period and vanish. Some it will be for a prolonged period. Some will attack you in the early stages of life. Some will attack you in your later parts of your life. Okay. Why the sicknesses come to a human being? There is one saying it. In the text, Vedic text, Kritam Papam Vyadi Rupena Peetitaha. That means whatever you have done in your previous life, that will pester you through sickness. What you owe others, what all the doshas you have, that doshas has to be repaid by the suffering through sickness. This is what the whole meaning is. Okay? Right. <clears throat> Sometimes, even in a doctor's family, children will have a sicknesses which is uh, continuous or prolonged. It is not that because doctor is a learned man and he can cure his own children. No. I have seen a doctor. He has got his specialization in cancer, in treating cancer. But his daughter, no, she is suffering from cancer. What I mean to say is, <clears throat> it is our sins which give us diseases. If at all we try to clear or avoid the sins, then definitely you will be a healthy person. Why all the spiritual pur persons are very healthy? Sometimes the spiritual persons, they don't eat properly, they will be in yoga or they will be Dhyana Yoga I am talking about, not the yoga what you people do for in the morning seasons for your body maintenance. I am talking about Dhyana Yoga. So these people sometimes they skip their meals but still health wise they will be very energetic because energy for the body comes from the cosmic energy and that is where the whole spirituality lies. Spirituality is nothing but getting intervened with the Cosmic energy. That's all. Because as long as you are in a body, you will be attracted to so many things. When once you get attachment to with the cosmic energy, you will find the relief, you will find the lightweightness, and you will find everything new. Okay, let me not go into that spirituality. It was just a line of introduction. Clear? Sixth house, here just like fifth house, here also we have to consider too many things. Again, fifth house will come into existence even in sixth house. When you want to see about diseases, first you have to look at uh, fifth house about the previous uh, Janma's karma and then you can give a solution for the cure of that disease. Second thing is medicines. 
what type of a medicine a person has to use and what type of a medicine the person well, i mean a person well, i mean what type of medicine a person uh, is what you call it uh, it suits a person so what are the karmas and what type of a medicine it suits the person these two things are there next one more thing is there that is which part of the body will be affected even that is noticed through nadi okay so to know about the diseases first we will take into consideration the six thousand <clears throat> six thousand aspect six thousand lords placement what are all the planets which aspect six thousand where they are placed okay and about the medicine venus is the one thing which gives us medicine which tells us about medicine so in which rasi when it is placed what type of a medicine will be suited for that person this has to be noted through placement of venus and fifth house again about the karma which planet is placed in fifth house will denote about the type of the karma they have which planet aspects the fifth house it will tell us about the karma when i tell about all these things there are some people who have a different query they are not bothered about the placements they don't work about the placements they suddenly they will get a different thought if no aspect is there yes i have to tell that of course first let us go ahead with what we know later on let us dig into what we don't know i don't say i don't know about that i can tell you but instead of putting you into confusions by telling if there is no planet at least i am telling you if there is a planet that will be half way through or you have half done of course you have to complete it and everything will not be completed by you just hearing to these videos you have to do your homework you have to catch hold of uh, horoscopes which has the planetary different planetary positions in the 6th house or different planets in the 6th house and try to analyze it unless and until you do that just for your answer if you probe a question uh it will i will give you the answer but it will not suffice it will not fetch your needs okay so here let's begin with the main theory instead of going all the way around 6000 from jupiter he tells us about the diseases before knowing the diseases we are jumping into fifth house again and we are going to look into what type of a disease he will have and what type of a problem or prolonged diseases may strike him and at what is the period ah about the period of the disease coming this will be given after this i'll take up the rounds of jupiter there are so many things it is not one easy slot where we can finish this and keep away safe and for this also i will do only up till the 6th house why you may ask me why because jupiter will lose his strength and he will cross 60 years when he comes to 60 to 72 the first 12 years first house 12 to 24 second house 24 to 36 third house 36 to 48 fourth house 48 to 60 fifth house 60 to 72 is the sixth house by that time he would have lost all his energy and strength seven those i don't take seven those because it is about your friend your day to day income etc i don't need to that a man needs very importantly a few things only one about his self he has to know about what he is two about his family finance that is very important about the way of speech or he has to mend it or he will not mend it that is left to him second house third house about your siblings about his siblings younger siblings or be elder siblings whatever it is third house fourth house about his family the happiness about his house and about mother all these things in the fourth house fifth house children development of the children 
childlessness, barrenness. That is fifth one. Sixth one, it is about to, naturally. He has to know about his diseases to get a cure. The method, the reasons, uh, he has to know the reasons why he has got the disease. For that, he needs the sixth one. Seventh house is not that important. Eighth house again, it will be important because it is Ayushthana. There will be an early death. There a person will have a longevity. That I will touch. Again, ninth, I am not bothered because it is about further wisdom. Let us see the normal duties of a person. How he normally and how lively he can be in the normal routine work. After that, let him go for great heights. Ten toes. That is profession you can know through Saturn. Eleven toes. I don't consider eleven. That is Labasthanam. When your finance is okay, automatic. See, whenever a prob whenever a person has a problem, he will run to an astrologer. Not when he is having profit. Not when he is happy. So this ninth, when he is going to get an award, ninth, when he has long distance travels, you can tell that even, even those things can be said when I take up Jupiter, the rounds of Jupiter. Okay. There are so many techniques. For example, next time when I take Sun, you will know about that. Right now, we are concentrating on sixth house. Let us complete with this. Fine. <clears throat> so sixth house. Sixth house is the one which tells us about the particular diseases. Okay. And the fifth house which tells us about the reasons, the causes for the diseases. And to support whether the diseases has to be cured or not, whether it's going to get cured or not, you have to take into consideration Venus for the medicine which has, what has been uh, given to the uh, patient or they need. When sixth house has a benefic planet. When sixth house has a benefic planet without any malefic uh, planet's aspect, then the diseases are quite curable. One thing. Second thing, the reasons we can know through the fifth house. Fifth house, planetary placement, planetary aspect, fifth house, Lord's placement. These are the things which tells us. For example, if sun is there in the fifth house, it may do good to the child of the native. At the same time, it, tell, it tells us that the native is having Pitru Dosham. And that Pitru Dosham will be, we may not affect the child, but that Dosham will be affecting the native in a different manner, in a different aspect. He may get problems from the eyes. He may lose eyesight very quickly or problems in the eyesight may come up. So if the sun is there, it's a repetition, but still, you just notice it. Fifth, uh, in the fifth house, if sun is there, it is any disease comes through the Pitra Doshas. If Rahu is there in the fifth house, the diseases will pertaining to Sarpa Shapa, Sarpa Yoga, Sarpa Chedana. These are the indications and these people will have definitely skin allergies or some rashes on the skin, on the legs part. Okay, if Mars is there in the fifth house, that is after death, some person in their previous, uh, I mean, in the previous uh, line lineage, that is uh, cousin brothers or uh, uh, grandfather or uh, before that uh, great grandfather, somewhere in that line there will there will be one unnatural death, and they would not have uh, done the karmas properly, and that curse will affect this person only. I'll tell you why it affects only one person among all the five family members. If all the five family members are having that five, that particular position of Mars in fifth house, it will not affect everybody. Okay, Pitru dosha comes from the Pitrus, but only one fact, one person will be affected through it. I'll tell you the reason after finishing this. So Mars will give you that. Moon, if at all moon is there in the fifth house, apart from other significations, what moon gives for the fifth house regarding the diseases, you can be sure that the disease, whatever comes, it will be coming and going very fast and frequently it will be appearing. One thing. Second thing is, moon is a female planet. There was one earlier, if at all moon is there in the fifth house, or moon aspects the fifth house or moon is with the fifth house lord 
these are the three things sun placed in the fifth house sun with the fifth house lord sun aspecting the fifth house mars in the fifth house mars with the fifth house lord mars aspecting the fifth house now moon moon when it is placed in the fifth house or aspecting the fifth house or it is with the fifth house lord then there will be the native will have either a young would have a younger sister or a, a elder sister who has taken birth and died at a very early age or a miscarriage would have taken place before the native's birth or after the native's birth that will giving that will be giving him back pain it will be just like a, a stabbing pain throughout the back now one the rate appears not frequently also so when once that is cleared that dosha is cleared every human being can live up till 120 purnaisu you don't you forget about the guinness book world record uh, uh, there will be more than 130 125 140 I, I, i am not telling about those people i am telling about people in the normal tendency 120 years is the life span given to a human being but now what is happening it has come down so the average life span has become up till 60 between 60 and 70 is only why because of sins okay i know how far people believe it but this is the uh, issue with the astrology it speaks about only sins i don't say whatever you do is a sin but i talk that astrology says it is sins okay it may be not a sin for you but it for astrology it denotes about the sin so when mercury is placed when mercury is placed it is aradhana dosha okay somewhere in some parts of the life or in the previous life if a person has not done the prayers pujas whatever it is that is called as aradhana dosha that will be affecting him and that will give him fear psychosis or nervous breakdowns it will also bring in depressions and he will it will make him an introvert these are not diseases these are qualities of course in these in these pattern only it will be linked to the diseases depression you can call it a disease nervousness vibrations shaking in the body yes it's a disease okay then jupiter if at all jupiter is placed in the fifth house jupiter aspects the fifth house of course i'm not talking about the regular jupiter and from their fifth house no 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 jupiter aspecting fifth house a seventh house aspect kindly note this in some places i have forgotten kindly note from now on or it is seventh house aspect if fifth house uh, sixth house uh, sixth house uh, fifth house from uh, jupiter is aspected uh, by jupiter ninth house aspect or the aspect will not be there we cannot try to take that into consideration we will take it like this if the fifth house lord is with jupiter it is guru shapa okay and if venus is there stri vaku dosha venus in the fifth house from jupiter venus in the uh, venus uh, with the fifth house lord venus aspecting the fifth house you can tell that it is was stri vaku dosha saturn definitely purusha me dosha because after death rahu i have already said it is something about sarpa shapa sarp ketu pitru dosha the performance to the elders was not proper they have not seated or they may have one unnatural death in the family and that soul is still pestering and of all these things why did i i wanted to tell you one thing that why it affects only this native fifth house now till now i was just touching the fifth house on the planets placed and those planets will give you that particular effects ah the causes for that particular disease or effects i have not come up to diseases okay <clears throat> i'll come to the diseases before that i want to show you that this is one stand where you have to look into now i finished with the planets in the fifth house just like last time what i had done what i have done and i'm sorry about the fifth house from jupiter i again repeat yes it's a mistake fine whatever it is <clears throat> the next thing is 
why it affects the only one person? This is a good question because most of the people do not know about this. I very surely say most of the people don't understand why this happens to only one person because there are Pitru Dosha is for the whole family and Pitru pertains to the family number of siblings also. But why only one native will be affected by that Pitru Dosha and his brother or sister will be well off or happy or uh, flourish, flourishing well? Why? Because only the person who has got attachments towards the spiritual energy, he can only perform certain things to clear that uh, dosha. These people who are in the astral plane, after death there are three planes, astral plane, subconscious plane, superconscious plane. I am not bringing spirituality here, please. This is only for you to know how these things work, how these things happen. Unless you know how it works, you cannot be properly guiding others. So, the astral planes, all the dead will be there in the astral plane. And they select from whom they have to get cleared of that Pritra Dosha. They will pester him. It is simple. Why will they pester him? For example, if you are in a group, or if you are in a crowd and somebody who wants to call you, he will try to shout your name, but you are in a heavy crowd. So he will do one thing, he will clap, he will ask somebody and he in turn asks somebody to call you. So when you are in a crowd, even if you shout, you, when you are in a crowd, even if your friend shouts at you, you cannot listen, you cannot hear it because crowd, noise, everything, pollution. But he will try to clap his hands and try to give some signal to other fellow there nearby you and one more fellow there and then after that he calls you. The same logic is played here. If a Pitru wants his uh, moksha, liberation, freedom or relief, he tries to tap you because you know you are the only one who is eligible for it. He knows that it is done by you only and that's why he will give you the dosha. This is the real truth behind it. Not all the people are affected. Only the person who is going to deal with it, he is affected. That's why most of the times, only people who are behind spirituality will have more sufferings than people who are not connected with spirituality. Because when once you touch spirituality, your cleansing starts. After your cleansing, you will feel the freedom, liberation. Okay? Let's forget about that. So, this is the reason why these Pitru Doshas are hidden. So, now the fifth house and the planets are over. We'll come back to the sixth house. As I said earlier, sixth house lords placement, who is there in the sixth house and Venus part of it, the medicine part of it will come later. Now, sixth, sixth house from Jupiter, which tells us about the diseases. If at all, sun is placed in the sixth house, sun is aspecting the sixth house, and sun is with the sixth house lord, the problem will be severe. And the problem pertaining to bones and eyes may be there. Apart from other things, because there are other planets also. Right now, I am taking only one thing just to share my knowledge. Rest I will leave it to you. Then, when moon is placed with in the fifth house, or moon is aspecting the fifth house, or moon uh, is with the fifth house lord, it will be 100% pertaining to the mind. Okay? And also, it, it also says, because this is the techniques of Nadi, I have to add one more, apart from diseases, I have to add one more point for moon and sun. Moon, when it is in the sixth house, the mother will have a lot of problems with the native. When sun is there in the sixth house from Jupiter, the native will have a lot of problems or tensions or difference of opinion. Because sixth house becomes 
Sestastakam. That means from Jupiter it is the sixth house. From sixth house it is the eighth house Jupiter. So this is Sestastakam. Always they will be having a tussle in between them. I don't say they fight, they quarrel, but they will have difference of opinion. Sometimes they quarrel also, that's a different thing. It depends upon the depth of it. Clear? So about this is about moon. If at all Mars stays there in the sixth house. Mars, it is about the blood. So something pertaining to the blood. Okay? Something pertaining to the blood. Something pertaining to frequent prone, uh, native, frequently prone to accidents. These two things. Surgeries. No one then surgeries. These things are indicated by Mars when he is staying in the fifth house or when he is with the fifth house lord, sixth house or when he is with the sixth house lord or when he aspects the sixth house. And Mars because he is a brother. Always for male or a female chart it is brother. Definitely the native and the brother will have difference of opinion. Point number one. Point number two. For a female chart, Mars is the husband. So in that case, the, late, the native lady and the husband will have difference of opinion. This is one way of knowing it also. Clear? Now Mercury. When Mercury is placed in the sixth house, the native will have problems. First we will talk about the sickness, then we will go to the other, part, other aspect. Sickness, skin allergies, nervousness, problem of memory powers. These people will study a lot, but they cannot remember anything. Or they will have this, uh, <coughs> what you call it, uh, compulsive uh, observation disorder, COD or something like that. That disorder they will get. Memory, skin, nerves. These are the three places they will be affected. Rashes on the skin or allergies on the skin. Sixth house, skin is weak. So this is about a, and Mercury because it is because Mercury signifies about the relatives, neighbors. The native will have problems with the relatives or neighbors. Not only that, the native may get stuck with the law matters. He may go to court frequently or uh, he may have to attend court or cases frequently. This is one thing also will happen. That is Nadi. Nadi is not only for diseases. If you have to have, you have to see it in many angles. Even this, the possibility is there when Mercury is placed in the sixth house. Because the opportunity came, I am telling you. Okay. Next, you forget about Jupiter. Sixth house. If at all Venus is there. I told you earlier it is three Vaku Shapa when uh, fifth or sixth house is there, you know. Definitely fifth house also will have a female planet or aspect. And the sixth house lord with Venus or sixth house, Venus is placed, it will affect two many things. One, ill health repeatedly, or though the ill health comes to them, to the native. It will not go very easily because medicines will not suit. Because Venus is nothing but medicines. When Venus itself is in the sixth house, the medicines will not work properly. This is one more thing. And all these things, it may be diabetic, it may be problems pertaining to the sexual organs, it may be problems pertaining to the reproductive organs, testicles, uterus, all these things will be affected. Sixth house, sixth house Venus, Venus with sixth house Lord, or Venus aspecting the sixth house. Now Saturn, if at all Saturn is there in the sixth house, there will be certain diseases that will affect them throughout their life. Okay. Next, Rahu, it is nothing but dryness, gas, gastro problems gastric problems, gastroenteritis and flow what you call it, um, gas, so everything pertaining to gas and uh, getting uh, what you call it, um, I can, okay, okay, I can explain it, okay, I'll, I'll, when the moment comes I'll explain it, of course, by the end of this session. So all these problems, ah, 
This is what I wanted to remember. Affected by evil energies when the sixth house Rahu is there. Definitely they will strike. Okay. Sixth house Rahu will also create problems from the servants or with the servants to the native. This is about problems. Now Ketu in the sixth house. <coughs> Ketu in the sixth house, hundred percent it will give you rashes. It will give you rashes on the skin. Because it is something pertaining to Pitru Dosha plus Sarpa Chedana. Chedana. Chedana means killing a snake. You might not have done that. When in the seven edge before you, the seven generations or uh, not generations, in the before you, the seven edge or your uncles, your family people, your father side family people, if they have done, definitely it will pinch you. And the reasoning I gave you, whom it pinches, why it pinches, that reasoning I gave you. So this is how about uh, for 6,000. One more beautiful thing a person has to notice. Some people, they get AIDS. They will not survive. They are going to die. I have checked a few. If at all. Ayishthana Adipati is there in the 6th house. 8th house Lord in the 6th house. Vice versa. Or Parivartini Yoga. 6th house Lord in 8th house. In both the cases, I have seen that there will be a prolonged diseases for the native and he will die in that disease only. I am not saying it is AIDS. Sorry. I just took that as an example. A permanent disease till the end of the life, there will be one disease if this Parivartin Yoga or 6000 Lord in 8th or 8000 Lord in 6th is there. This is really a technique point, a technical, it's a technique point in Nadi. That's all. And I leave it to you to observe about that. So this is about the sixth house. Now, as I said, I am not going to take up seventh house. I will definitely touch the eighth house. Ninth house I don't need. Tenth house, eleventh house, Labastana, these things I don't need. Immediately, not even eighth, I will stop it here because I know only the six uh, till the sixth house on Jupiter has the capacities. Next, what we are going to start will be the beautiful one. That is Jupiter's rounds and transiting Jupiter, how it's affecting each people, what it is going to give you, when it is going to give you. These things are very important. Everybody are eager to know that because nobody want to learn in, the, in depth. They wanted to analyze their own chart and finish it up. They wanted to know exactly when it is going to happen. But reasons behind it, other things. Uh -huh, they are not. Uh, they are very in a, in a hurry to know about exactly about themselves and uh, manage it. It's not that you have to know in depth. Unless and until you know in depth, you cannot finalize things properly. So I think I have done with the sixth touch. Till I meet you next time. I will bid. Bye.